that's what they call straight from the titty to the kitty. Brave cat. Get the cool markings on that one. Nice little heifer calf. Not even yours. Not yours either. Hers. It's another uh, little Norwegian red. First group looked pretty content. Most of the switch cows, a couple ones eaten yet. Nice day out today, no wind. 37, I think they said. Hope they can get a little something done. We'll have to see. You're gonna crash. No, it's Echo. Watch the master at work. Watch the master at work, huh? Yeah. I don't know. You think you start turning? George, I think you do know how to drive. Yes, I know how to drive. You're going to hit that pile of wood right there, though. you crashing into something. Well, we dug into my bag of oats and peas up here. That stuff's feeding out really nice so far, mixing it with a little second crop hay. Cows are doing real good off it. Alright guys, it's been a couple of days since I started this video, but uh, show you that oats and peas is feeding pretty nice. We just got just a little bit room to spare. I uh, got a couple more fresh cows, so there goes the lid. We're going to have to go on every day pick up for a while. I've had a lot of fresh cows here in the past month or so, so... Yeah, it's been working its way up there anyway, so... But, uh, yeah, I am really shocked how, uh, how well them cows milk off oats and peas and mix it with a little hay. I had really good luck with that. I get pretty good uh, components off it also. So... I guess I'll be going every day for a little while anyways. Well, how's everybody doing today? A um, few days since uh, I started this video. Actually about a week probably, so a week's time. Went from frozen to slop. We got a couple of tents of rain this morning. And they're saying a bunch of storms rolling through yet tonight. Um... Up the bags is a mess, so uh, I'm running tire chains trying to get through. It's what I normally do. It works. Tire chains will uh, get you traction. My problem is, is they like to dig and don't take long to make a mess. So what I did, I got myself a set of tracks. I'm going to try to slap these things on and see how well they work. They're not the uh, nice big heavy tracks. These are, I think, Tracks Plus, they call them. 
they're not as heavy as like the grouser tracks but I just want them for the mud so I think they'll hold up at least I hope they'll hold up so to get started I'm gonna take these tires off I got these tires flipped around anyways just because it's uh, easy to put chains on and I can grease the uh, bearings in there without having to pull the wheels off all the time but I don't want to the only bad thing is the uh, valve stems are on the inside so get these tires all off and check the air on them make sure the air is up good and I'll go through and grease everything and uh, go from there alrighty got that all taken care of there tires or bearings are all greased tires are all up on air um, so I'll bolt these together and do that side and We'll drive her up on there and go from there. Okay, so what I did is uh, drove the skid loader up just past the back of the track here, flopped the rest over. I ended up having to take a pad out, got them bolted together, and put my come along on. Now I'm going to adjust these until I get the slack out. All right, we're done milking and everything. Uh, it poured down rain. It was nasty out there for a while, and all the rain blew in the damn feed lane here, so everything's good and wet. Um, anyways, so uh, I got this board set up so I can measure uh, my slack. I think they want it in between an inch and a half to three inches, and I got about six, so I'm going to have to draw this up a little more and move these bolt holes some so we'll get after that all right I snug this one up as far as I could I'm like just shy of four inches I'd like to get a little little tighter <coughs> um, I'm gonna get the other side put on me run them forward and back a little bit see if I can get another bolt hole out of it so on this side, I'll show you. I drove up, and I'm just going off what the instructions say. Go up that far, and we'll flop the rest over and hook them in. Drive them around a little bit, and then start taking slack up again. So see if we can get her done. All right, we got them on. He said I got a, just a little bit too much slack in here, but. Uh, I can't get another bolt out. Hopefully tomorrow I can drive around for a little bit and we'll get another uh, bolt moved over. There's just uh, there's two holes in these things, so you just keep sliding them over to keep them tight. So we'll keep playing with her and uh, we'll go from there. Hopefully it's gonna work. Sit. Uh, was downpouring like crazy for a while between that and the uh, spring thawing it's a muddy mess out there so we'll see what happens I guess we'll call this one good enough uh, plenty late the lights are shutting off in the freestyle shed here and the wind's starting to pick up we got a damn wind advisory for until sometime tomorrow morning so. Maybe it'll dry something up, you never know. I ain't gonna complain too much. Uh, we got at least an inch of rain, so now everybody can quit complaining about the uh, foot of snow we're supposedly lacking. Everybody freaks out, oh my god, we didn't get enough snow. <laughs> the hell good's the snow anyways, it all runs down to the river. An inch of rain, it does a little good when the ground's thawed out. So hopefully it got the rest of the frost out of the ground, so... We'll see what happens, so anyways... Uh, this uh, next video we'll uh, see how all these tracks work in the mud mix and feed and uh, until then uh, cheers we'll catch everybody later thanks for watching